विल यू मैरी मी ओ माय गॉड मतलब मेरी जगह कोई भी होगा तो वो ये ट्रस्ट नहीं कर पाएगा कि ऋषि ने कभी जैन को चीट नहीं किया होगा ओ माय गॉड ही सेंट मी अ फोटो ऑफ हिम विद अ शर्ट ऑफ ओ माय गॉड आई प्रोबेबली शुड जस्ट एंड थिंग्स नाउ बट आई एम जस्ट नॉट देयर येट ओ गॉड ऑसम Jen's story finally got a little more interesting in the last few episodes. And thank God because watching her and Rishi has been pretty boring. When she first arrived to India, I think we all thought she was crazy to move to a country with no clue if she would end up married or not. Even this driver agreed. Is it crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Ho, ho. Rishi had not told his parents about his engagement to Jen, and the chemistry when we first see Jen and Rishi together seemed a bit off. Or maybe that's just my impression. They seemed so mismatched and more like friends to me. I even at one point thought that they were set up specifically for the show and had never met before. But we will get to that. I think that Rishi is more into his hair than Jen, but he makes odd attempts at showing on camera that he likes her. Nice, but uh, you no know, tastier than you. Oh. Uh. Jen doesn't trust Rishi and makes a pact with herself not to sleep with him until they are married. At first that made me a little suspicious. If they were set up for the show, this would be a good way to explain their lack of alone time. But if they are a real couple, this is a smart idea on her part. She's living in India as a secret fiance while his parents are trying to arrange a marriage for him. Let's hope her strategy keeps her from just staying the secret fiance on the side. I mean, how many other women is he putting up in cold apartments and doing acro yoga with? We don't know. As much as he comes off as a boy, he claims that he hasn't hooked up with anyone in the last 2 years that he's been apart from Jen. But it is a big surprise for her when she learns that Rishi's family is already trying to force an arranged marriage for him. If they will find they will uh, force him for the arranged marriage as they are looking already. Rishi's friends spilled the beans and Jen is mad, but she still goes to the super awkward meet up with Rishi's family as just a friend. Hey, I think I can do it. How can they not know why she is meeting them? How is he explaining the camera crew? What a weird coincidence that this woman is here and Rishi is refusing to have an arranged marriage. And then the strange woman starts asking all these questions about who Rishi is allowed to marry. Is it okay if he marries a girl who is Muslim or Jewish or Christian? This is just so weird. Jen is upset when she finds out that Rishi's family has been looking for a wife for him for a year and a half. And this is when I start to think that most of this storyline is bullshit. Rishi expresses that he wants Jen to live with his family and then takes her to learn how to be an Indian wife. So either they really don't know each other at all or this is fake because they had nothing else to film. I don't have two master's degrees so I can go be a maid for your family. I'm sorry. If Rishi wanted to marry a traditional Indian wife, he could have done so already. And then he easily caves into the idea of not living with his parents when they do get married. Jen is the only woman that I risked my relationship with my family because I love her. Whether they are set up for the show or not, this seems like it's all an act. And I expected this boring repeat of Jenny and Samit to just drag out for the rest of the season. But Jen throws us a curveball in the last few episodes when she visits an immigration lawyer to talk about her visa. She thinks her visa requires her to leave the country every 30 days, but it turns out that she didn't actually read her visa. When you leave this country, you have to apply for the tourist visa again. She actually has a single entry visa, and it says that right on it. Whoops. I feel this is a crazy American behavior. Crazy. So Jen and her two master's degrees have to head back to the US and she has to reapply for the tourist visa and has no idea when she will get one approved. Rishi could easily save the day when he finds this out. There's a very simple solution to this problem. Go get married. But that doesn't happen and Jen gets ready to move back to the US. Now he really doesn't have to tell his family. I almost thought this was the end for them since she didn't know when or even if she could come back. But Rishi finds this as an opportunity to repropose. Imagine you come all the way to India just to be reproposed to, then you leave. <laughs> I guess that means he still wants to wait for her? I don't know. I really don't think he wants to marry her. So what is the point of this? They don't even know how long the wait will be. But Jen for some reason leaves with a smile. They say love is worth fighting for. And I'm willing to put up the good fight. And now she has to go back to her family and hear them say I told you so. Big Ed the Fly wants to remind you to subscribe to this channel. You're my best view. 
Jen lands in Oklahoma, and now she has to explain her hot mess trip to her family. You did meet the mother? I did. He introduced me as a friend. What? Um, I found out that they have been trying to arrange a marriage for him. Her explaining it makes it sound even worse than it was to watch. I think Rishi proposing a second time without like telling his mother, it, it looks like a tactic of uh, stalling. I could see that, but stalling for what? Wanting to hook up with her when she visits again? If he doesn't want to marry her, then what is all of this for? Not even Rishi's friends believe in this relationship. This friend is someone he's known for almost four years and has worked with him, and she doesn't even trust him. It's not a good sign when a friend asks someone if they've cheated and then doesn't believe them when they say no. So according to people around him, he is a f boy. This is not looking good for you, Rishi. His friend really called him out, but Jen is already getting ready to move back to India. They've actually reinstated my 10-year visa, so I'm going back to India in a few weeks. By the way, she's telling this to the friends we met on an earlier episode. So Jen is sure about going back and says that she has no reason not to. How about when I reached out to Rishi and he was hitting on me? This is the friend that messaged Rishi and he didn't say anything back to her that I thought was hitting on her. I know you from seeing your pics and I think you're attractive. Rishi writes back, okay, well, where are you from? So asking where someone is from is hitting on you, okay. But her friend now claims to have more proof of him hitting on her. He sent me a photo of him with his shirt off. I'm sending it to you right now. I noticed something while watching this that I think explains why her friend is randomly sharing this new proof of Rishi being shady. The top image is from the beginning of their conversation. The bottom image is from when her friend says she got a picture from Rishi. They are wearing the same clothes, but it is not the same lighting and the backgrounds look like different locations. So I think this new claim was added in to bring some sort of excitement to this story. This is right before you went to go see him. I knew that you were gonna do what you wanna do, so I didn't tell you. There is no way. She made such a big deal about Rishi asking her where she was from. If she got a photo, she would have stopped Jen at the airport or something dramatic. And the picture he sent was one of his modeling photos we saw in his intro. If they wanted to make this believable, they should have made him take a mirror selfie getting out of the shower or something. And you know, I try to give you advice and you don't take it. The text above the photo is talking about meeting with an agent and she says she was pretending to be a model. It wasn't like he texted her saying, hey, let's hook up. I mean, I told him I was going to the airport and he agreed to meet up with me. Jen is upset, so what does she do? She wants to go to India to confront him. I probably should just end things now, but I'm just not there yet. I still don't understand what Rishi wants from their relationship, but I don't believe the story that they added in. The only way we will know if Rishi actually loves Jen is if he actually marries her. There's really not going to be any other way to tell. On the next episode, Jen is back in India and confronts Rishi. And so, I just give them a reply, nothing more than that. That's bull I mean, they have nothing else to film until he tells his family about her or he actually marries her. We'll have to see how this season plays out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!